hope we don't get sparks. Ooh, sparks. <laughs> you jinxed it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am really excited to share this project with you. I've worked on this for a couple of months and I think it's turned out really, really well. It's not done yet, it's not 100% done yet. I'll explain where we're at in a few minutes. And so this is a motorized solar power station. So much of the stuff I use on the farm is all electric, right? My welder, my jackhammer's electric, my air compressor. And anytime I needed to do something out on the farm, if it were far away from a power source, I would have to either extend a whole bunch of extension cables, sometimes these are real thick, heavy 10 gauge extension cables, or I'd have to move my big old uh, gas powered generator with my tractor out to the, out to the work site. And I thought, surely there's gotta be a better way. So stick my own inverter on there, and I put it on a platform with wheels so I can move this thing around the farm and not only that, I motorized it as well. So it's under its own power and I can move it out to whatever work site that I'm gonna be working on. Then I recharge it with a solar panel. So I'm gonna give you a little tour. It's not 100% done yet, but it's functionally complete. And I hope this project is as exciting to you as it, as it was to me. So let's talk about the construction. The construction centers around this, this uh, metal gate and this metal gate was just an old junky gate that I had on the farm. It was left over from the previous owners. This is gonna be the foundation, the base of it. I'm just making this up as I go. So there's gonna be some mistakes, there's gonna be some design flaws. I'm thinking of this as kind of like version one. And then in the future, whatever I learn from this project, I can kind of expand on that and create an even better project going forward. And I used this as a platform, and then I bolted on this piece of uh, plywood, and that's forming the base for all the electronics and everything that are going into the system. I welded onto this platform this piece of angle iron on the back here. To give it more stability, I think I'm gonna weld one of these on, and this will serve as the back of the unit. And this will do a couple things. It'll make it more stable because it'll give it a wider wheelbase. But then on top of that, this thing is pretty much dead straight. All I have to do is make sure that the welds are really straight. And I know that this is straight and therefore um, the wheels will get on there nice and straight. I'm gonna weld on this bad boy. I have another one of these on the other side. Nice wide wheelbase. And this angle iron is here to do a couple of things. First of all, the metal gate was a little bit too short to accommodate my solar panel. I needed this metal gate to be a little bit longer. So I welded this piece of angle iron on here to give me an extension, just give me a little bit of extra width to mount this solar panel on there. The wheels are made up of these bicycle uh, frames. These are my daughter's old bikes. I've got twin daughters. So I've got two matching bikes here that they grew out of. And I'm gonna be using the back half for the back of the cart. I'll be using the chain to drive one of the back wheels using an electric motor. And then I'm gonna use the front of the bike as a steering mechanism. Okay. I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this off here, cut this off here, and then that'll leave this surface and this surface exposed, and then I'll be able to mount it onto this angle bracket, this angle iron, because I'll have lots of surface area exposed that I can weld on. So that is the plan. So I cut off the front of the bike, and I kept the rear frame intact. So this rear frame is all original. There's, so I wanted to keep that intact because that's what I'm building the, uh, the frame out of. So any amount of structural integrity that I can maintain from the original bike, I wanted to maintain that. That's pretty much the type of height that I'm looking for. So this all looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this in place. Hey 
Here's a preview of what it's gonna look like. See the height, and it's looking awesome. And then I'll have another wheel on the side over here. both of the mo uh, wheel mounts on. So I'm gonna put the wheels on and we'll see how it looks. I'm excited. I'd say that looks pretty freaking cool, man. Look at that. Looks like I actually knew what I was doing. Well, not quite. So I have two matching frames. You can see here's the rear frame from one bicycle. And over there is the matching rear frame from the second bicycle, my, my other twin daughter's bike. And I welded them onto this angle iron bracket on the back at the exact same angle. So you can see the angle of the bicycle frame comes down like this. And that gives me clearance that I can mount this wheel onto. Same deal back there. You can see the exact same angle coming down. That gives me plenty of clearance to mount that back wheel. And then I welded these additional sway bars. So this bar right here prevents it from rotating this way. And this sway bar here prevents it from swinging out left or right. They worked great, and these things are really nicely braced now. There's very little, very little give, and I think this is pretty much gonna stand up to all the rigors that it will be expected to stand up to. And then I'll have one wheel in the front with handlebars to steer it. This front part's gonna be harder because I need to extend the front a little bit because at least 66 inches uh, from front to back, and it's currently a little bit less than that, so I need to find a way of extending it. All right, let's get this front wheel mounted on there. Cool. I have a front wheel. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this project. This is the moment of truth. I'm going to go ahead and just hold the uh, solar panel right in that slot there and see if it fits. I think it's gonna fit, but I don't know, my measurements could be off, so let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah! Pretty much perfect. Nailed it. Awesome. These braces, so this brace here and this brace over here so that this can't sway left or right. And so we've got a really rigid vertical construction here, so it can't move up and down because you've got a, both an upper and a lower weld here. And it can't move left or right because you have welds on both the left and right uh, for these braces. And so this front part should be super rigid. Now, of course, since it's a bike rim, or since it's a bike frame, I've got this really nice steering mechanism so I can steer it left and right. So that worked out just like I wanted it to. Got our front wheel here. Now there's no brakes on it, which is one kind of bummer thing that I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get some brakes installed at some point. I'll probably just have the front brake on here. Um, this is the best part. I still have my daughter's little bell. So that's kind of fun. So now the basic frame is all done. On the front, I welded this extension here. So I've got this piece of uh, um, metal tubing, rectangular tubing on the front. And again, the idea is that I just needed a little bit of extra space to accommodate the solar panel. And then I welded these pieces of angle iron on here that go up. And then I drilled some holes through the angle iron. And I'm using those holes to mount the solar panels. Getting ready to drill the holes for the solar panel. I'm gonna drill one here, one here, and that'll allow my little mounting bracket to slide in. I'm gonna drill it close to this edge so that I have plenty of space between the mounting bracket and the actual crystalline panel itself. So. There's my first mounting bracket. So I'll mount the solar panel on these I mount the solar panel on these little rods here. Moment of truth. Are these both gonna fit in there? It's a promising start. Um, I've got some fine tuning I need to do, obviously. There you go, that was a big moment. Finally got the solar panel installed. So we're rounding the final bend, I'd say. Now I just need to install the motor, mount all this stuff, get everything hooked up. Oh, and I also need to change the inner tubes on the wheels. So I can turn this solar panel any angle that I need to capture the best sunlight. It goes pretty much all the way down like that or all the way down in the other direction. And so you can see here, I've got that angle in that direction. I've got that angle in this direction. Okay, this is the first look that I've had that's gonna tell me exactly how this motor is gonna mount. And so I thought I was gonna have more chain to work with. I thought the chain was gonna be further out, kind of over here. Turns out it's a lot shorter, which is fine. I'm just gonna weld the angle iron onto this and on both sides. So one on this side, one on this side. And that will allow me a nice sturdy piece of flat bar. I'll have to kind of figure this out, but that's kind of what I'm envisioning is that I'll have the angle iron as a support for the flat bar. All right, well, I am officially welding the trailer using the power from the trailer. So this is a big moment. It's come full circle, full circle.
So that is testable at this point. We can test it. Little speed controller here. It's got one, two, and three. Right now it's on one. We're just gonna keep it on one, I think. And then we got this little motorcycle handle. Yeah. And then we turn this on. Uh. Sucker's on. And then we move the torch. Get her, oh, get her done. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my man. Yes, it fucking works. Oh my god. All right, we gotta get this thing down to the field. Like, I haven't seen this anywhere on YouTube. I've looked. I'm sure there's some other people out there who've done it, but I haven't seen this anywhere on YouTube. So if someone knows of another source that's built a motorized power station like this, I'd love to see it. But yeah, this is the only one that I've seen that's solar powered anywhere on YouTube. So send me any links that you guys have. I'd love to check them out and kind of steal some of their ideas uh, to improve my design. Uh, if you know anyone who would be into this idea, if you could share this around, um, I'm just really excited about this project and I want to hear feedback from it and I want to see some other people run with this idea and see what they're able to come up with. So if you could share this around to anyone who you think might be into this idea, um, I'd love to see what other people come up with. So let me know. Uh, any videos you know of or anyone who's done this before and send this along to anyone who you think might be interested.